Sailing was always his passion. And he just was one of those kind of people that everybody liked him. He was uh, an avid yachtsman and uh, kind of a great guy to be around. When he got sick, he never pouted about it. I don't ever remember him getting angry about it. I think uh, hospice kind of exemplifies the attitude that he had towards life. Even when he was suffering, he still had a very positive attitude. This is a great way to celebrate. The event itself uh, is basically a buoy race. It's, it's a one-day race with uh, different types of, of uh, sailboats. Our club is a very active uh, sailing racing club. So as a result of that, uh, we've got guys that are pretty competitive. And over the years, that competitiveness uh, comes forward and who's gonna raise the most money. The first couple years we did it just at MBYC, and then the last four years we combined it with the Yacht Basin, and it has just exploded. I think everybody's been touched by cancer, so it doesn't matter if you have a boat, if you don't have a boat. There's a lot of people here that don't have boats that are just want to donate and have some summer fun. The silent auction, people can just bid on, you know, do their little bid on the different little items. So it's, it's a, basically become a premier event and fundraiser for the hospice organization here in Holland. At our live auction is where we make the big bucks and a boat and a bike and all these things that people have donated. Sold it right here, $1,100. Everybody just wants to come together and have a good time and, and raise money for a wonderful cause. It's a special, special event. He would be honored that his girls are doing this for him. A great way to uh, assist in an organization that was, you know, very helpful, not only for Paul, but thousands of other people. Paul would be smiling.